Hi, I'm Kami Shammas. Today I will talk about Thursday the 2nd of April. The moon will be in Cancer till 6.27 p.m. Universal Time. And then the moon will move to uh, Leo, which, will, uh, uh, which is a, a, a fire sign, and then it will form a, a trine, a fire trine with the sun, which is in Aries. If you're watching me from the Americas, most probably the moon will be in, uh, in Leo, uh, probably around um, noon, afternoon, depending where you are in the, in the Americas, on which, uh, which coast. So, let's start with Aries. Definitely Aries, you, you will enjoy Thursday and you'll enjoy it even more when the moon is in Leo. Until then, you have to keep track of your emotions, of your feelings, the way you react and the way you move and how you say things, your attitude also. You may be a little bit um, emotional, you may be a little bit sensitive, but it's all okay. Everybody is, is, is on lockdown, everybody is staying at home, so everybody feels a little bit bored or frustrated, so you have to take it easy on yourself and on those who are uh, near you at home or wherever. So take it easy and just wait for the moon to reach uh, Leo. Um, Taurus, it's a nice day. The quality of time is good as long as the moon is in um, Cancer. Uh, it can be very productive and very efficient. But then when the moon moves to Leo, that's another story. Uh, things seem to get a little bit more complicated and a little bit more exhausting. So try to hurry up if you can, that would be great. The most tired probably would be those born on the 25th, 26th of April. Gemini, it's a great day, whether the moon is in Cancer or whether the moon is in Leo, it's a beautiful day, it's a very successful day, you're, um, you're not easy to compete with, you're very successful and very empowered, it's a beautiful day. Negotiations, if you have something to read, if you have something to write, if you're studying, if you're preparing for school, for exams, for a special meeting, this is a beautiful day for all Geminis. Cancer is also one of the lucky signs today. Uh, of course, the main reason is because the moon is in Cancer and your sign, which gives you a green light. You can be um, uh, very daring. You can be very strong, very empowered, which is great. It will help you move on and be determined. Uh, your ideas are very clear and very consistent and very convincing. It's a great day. Even if the moon moves to Leo, you are still uh, an empowered sign today. Make the best of it. And the luckiest probably are those born between the 16th and the 18th of July. As for Leo, Leo, it's, um, it's still going to be a very slow day as long as the moon is in Cancer. So don't expect anything to come true or anything to take place. Uh, as you wish, the way you wish it. Actually, it can be very frustrating, lots of delays and disappointments. I advise you astrologically, of course, to wait till the moon reaches uh, your sign. And then it's, it's a, there's a big difference. It's a 180 degree difference between the, um, the, 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 the results uh, between the moon in Cancer and the moon in Leo. If I were you, I would wait till the moon reaches um, Leo. That's what I would do because then you will get the green light and then you will get what you wish. So in the meantime, be very careful if you were born between the 23rd and 25th of July. Moving on to Virgo. Virgo, this is a, a nice day. Uh, it can help you out. It can reward you. Uh, people will stand by you. You'll not be left on your own. It's going to be a very nice day as long as the moon is in Cancer. That's the productive part of the day. When the moon moves to Leo at 6.27 p.m. Universal time, not Greenwich Mean Time, Universal time, that's when you get in a very stagnant situation. That's when everything stalls and that's when everything seems to stand still and that's when there is no luck around so be careful the luckiest today are those born between 28th 30th of august and those born between the 17th and the 19th of september 
Moving on to uh, Libra, it's a nice day actually. It can be a little bit tough, you know, just like uh, Wednesday. However, knowing that the moon is going to move out of Cancer, maybe it gives you a little bit of some hope. In all cases, you still need to be careful, extra careful uh, during the period of the day when the moon is in Cancer because it's going to be a little bit tough and very demanding and it can put you in, a, uh, in an opposition to maybe to with your kids, with your spouse, with your parents, with people around you, with neighbors in your community. So you have to be extra careful. Things will start to look a little bit better when the moon moves to Leo. Uh, Scorpio, you should not wait for the moon to reach um, Leo. It's not very helpful. Actually, when the moon is in Cancer till 6.27 p.m. universal time, that's the, the, your best bet. That's when you should uh, have everything ready and done with it's going to be a helpful period of time. So why waste it? Actually, it's going to be better than the next couple of days. So don't wait. Don't waste this beautiful time of Thursday of the moon in Cancer. That's my advice to you, especially if you were born on the 23rd, 24th of October. Actually, you are the ones who need to be extra careful and you are the ones who actually need the good vibes of the moon in Cancer. Let's move on now to Sagittarius. With the moon in, Sagitt in Cancer, you are fine. It's not like you're, uh, you're, you're worried about anything. You just need to be to tackle things with a little bit, uh, with more flexibility, actually, with more diplomacy, with your kids, with family, with your spouse, with people on the phone, with your meetings, anything. Everything will be quite fine when the moon is in Leo, but then it can be at the end of the day depending where you are on this earth. It's, um, it moves to Leo at 6.27 p.m. universal time. Okay, so that's when things actually will be wonderful, gorgeous, beautiful. So if you're watching from the Americas, most probably you're going to enjoy a beautiful afternoon, wonderful, successful afternoon. And then everybody will be lucky. Capricorn, you will be happy for the moon to move out of Cancer because it troubles you a lot. It makes you a little bit more uh, maybe uh, bad tempered, uh, maybe moody, maybe tired, maybe uh, impatient, um, a little bit aggressive maybe. In all cases, you have to take care. As long as the moon is in Cancer, you have to be extra careful. And then the moon moves away. It moves to Leo at 6.27 p.m. in universal time. And that's when you relax a little bit. And then that's when you feel a little bit more comfortable with things going around you. Plan on that. And the luckiest probably will then be those born on the 27th, 28th of December. Moving on to Aquarius, don't wait for the moon to reach Leo because it will fight with you. It will bring out the worst in you, between parentheses. So you have to be a little bit, um, you have to wake up earlier, you have to finish your jobs, uh, your chores, you have to handle everything with care. You don't want to leave uh, uh, problems uh, for the for evening, for the for Friday. So that's my advice to you. Hurry up and do whatever you really need to do as soon and as fast as possible, especially if you were born between the 20th and the 22nd of January. Be careful, you may ruin a very special relationship. Pisces, uh, I love the vibes uh, of the moon in Cancer. They suit you a lot. They bring out the beautiful side of you. You know, each sign has good side, negative side, good traits positive traits, negative traits. So it's very common and normal. So the moon in Cancer would bring out the best in you. Uh, make the best of it, believe me. And that will be the actually the best time uh, remaining in this week. Uh, and that will be till 6.27 p.m. universal time. Today, Thursday.
So try to make the best of it, enjoy it, wrap up the whole week, and then enjoy the rest of this week doing routine stuff. That's my advice to you. And those lucky will be those born between the uh, 8th and the 12th of March. So this is it for uh, Thursday, the 2nd of April. I wish you all a great day and see you tomorrow. Thank you.